Hi, this is Chad from Avmeda. In this video, I'm going to give you a general walkthrough of our new generation playout automation software, Marsis Playout. Marsis Playout is designed for 24-7, 365 days a year playback for professional TV broadcasters or any other individual broadcasters using web TVs or IPTVs. Marsis, being of client-server architecture, brings more reliability and allows you to easily access your playout server from any Windows platform, mobile device, or web browser. You can run up to eight separate playout channels on a single server. Each playout can be controlled by different users by setting different permission levels per user. Each user will only see their own playout channel and related content. This feature also allows our Playout Center customers to rent out channels to different clients, which all can run on the same server. Multi-format playback is supported by Marsis Playout. You can play any format, frame rate, or resolution in the same playlist. We support almost all known broadcast and non-broadcast file formats and codecs. Marsis Playout supports 4K, ultra high definition, 3D, high definition, and standard definition output and input resolutions. It also supports SDI, IP, NDI, and ASI outputs and inputs. Marsis Playout also supports 1 plus 1 and M plus N redundancy. Let's have a look at some other features our client interface has to offer. Marsis Playout's interface is very user-friendly, making it extremely easy to use. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see our Media Explorer, which allows you to browse all your media content. You can easily browse your content here and add items into your playlist by dragging and dropping. You may also search for any media file by their name at the bottom. There are various ways to add media into your playlist. You can right-click to add or insert media files, or you can use the Add and Insert buttons on top of your playlist. On the right-hand side, we have a built-in media trimmer. You may preview your media files here. You may easily change the in and out points of your media files, or you may add multiple in and out markers to split your media into multiple parts. You may also change video and audio settings and see the media information here. If you want to play any item in your playlist on a specific date and time, you also can set an auto start time Marsis Playout will automatically generate gap and overlap events based on your automation. With Marsis Playout, you may save your playlists either as a regular playlist or a daily playlist. A daily playlist will load automatically and start playback as part of automation. You get to define what time you wish your playlist to load at. You may also manage your playlists with our Marsis Scheduler application, which can be run from any PC within your network. Marsis Playout supports either SDI or IP feeds as live sources, and those sources can be added into your playlist as a playlist item. You may preview live sources before adding them into the playlist by selecting the live source and clicking the preview button. You may also assign a duration for your live events when adding them to the playlist to fit your scheduling needs. For IP sources, we support UDP, RTMP, HLS, and HTTP streams. We also support Bluefish, Asia, and Blackmagic cards for the SDI inputs. Another neat feature you can use are groups. You can create groups to see your playlist items in different blocks. By double-clicking on a group header, you can collapse or expand your groups. Marsis Playout gives the user various types of secondary events to control playlists, such as wait, stop, stop queue, jump to, and etc. You may also control your playback by using these events. You may control various models of routers by using router events. All you need to do is create your router preset and then add them into your playlist. Another feature Marsis Playout has is the ability to use and generate DTMF tones. Marsis Playout can generate DTMF tones to control other third-party applications as well as receive DTMF tones to bring automated properties. You can control your CG server by either creating graphic rules or by using user-defined CG events that you can add into your playlist. All you need to do is simply browse to your CG projects and trigger any CG item from the list. The text objects also can be linked with some of the playlist information, such as name or category. You may also parse text by enabling the parse option. Marsis Playout will keep as run logs in the database. You may export these logs between any dates containing any of the information you need at any time. All playlist fonts and colors are user customizable. You may make any changes to the colors of your playlist by going to the settings and clicking the color tab. From here, you may define any as you wish. Marsis Playout also has action assignable hotkeys. You can assign various types of actions to these buttons. 
You may either use these buttons to execute the action you've assigned to it, or you may use them to add or insert the assigned action to the playlist. Another great feature that Marsis offers is the ability to control your Playout server using your web browser. The Marsis Playout web client allows you to control your channel anywhere in the world. As you can see, the Marsis Playout web client looks almost identical and contains every feature that is in the desktop client. When you make any changes using the web client, you will see the changes reflected on all other clients instantly. You may also build playlists online using the web-based Marsis scheduler client. Having this gives you the ability to create, edit, and save your playlists anywhere in the world. All you need to do is just log into the system and choose which playout you would like to create a playlist for. It's that easy. For more information, please visit our website at www.avmeda.com or give us a call. Thanks for watching our demonstration.